On your fast track to seven this morning, terrifying video out of California. Take a look. It's when a coyote is caught on camera attacking and dragging oh. a little girl. There you just saw the girl fall to the ground and that animal pulling her down the sidewalk. You see it right there in the middle of the screen. Now that happened outside of the girl's home. She was in the hospital uh, and was sent there and it's pretty tough to watch this video though. Yeah, that ring video is slowed down so you can see that girl's dad throwing stuff at the animal to try to shoo it away. The girl was bitten and is currently undergoing rabies shots. Also on your fast track to seven this morning, a Moorhead murder suspect expected in a North Dakota court this week after being arrested in Richland County. 25 year old James Conley Jr. was arrested Friday in Wapaton after the death of a woman in a South Moorhead home. Family members discovered that victim's body on Thursday night after checking on the woman at her place in the 3800 block of 32nd Street South. The woman is believed to be Collie's mother. Police say she had traumatic injuries on her body and that there were no signs of forced entry into that home. The cause of death being determined by the Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office. The suspect is being held in the Wapaton Jail and is awaiting formal charges and extradition back to Minnesota. It is just about 6.53 right now on our Monday morning. Checking our forecast, and uh, this weather really has us in the holiday spirit, Lisa. It sure does. It's feeling like Christmas. It's looking like Christmas. And just wanted to share a photo of us at the Holiday Lights Parade Aww. on Saturday night. We loved uh, seeing everybody. You can see uh, the three of us were there. We had more members of the Valley Today crew there, too, our directors and uh, some producers as well out greeting folks. It was chilly, though. Temperatures were in those single digits, wind chills even lower, and we're going to experience more of that heading into this week. So I want you to make sure you're bundled up here. This morning it's actually warmer than it was at night that night. We're looking at temperatures right now in Fargo right around 20 degrees. It feels more like 9 degrees though when we factor in that wind that is starting to turn more northwesterly. We have a wind speed of 10 miles per hour and so that northwesterly wind is going to drive down our temperatures through the day today. So we're going to see those numbers sliding more into the single digits later on this afternoon. One other thing to watch out for a little bit of blowing snow uh, up in the northern valley. We have visibility reduced a bit. There might be a few areas of falling snow there too uh, where we do have some clouds. Uh, and then in the south in the clouds, the radar is detecting a few flakes as well. Pretty light stuff if you do experience it though here for today. So temperature of 20 degrees right now in Fargo out at the bus stop. It's going to be dropping through the day. So by 8 a.m. 18 degrees and then this afternoon only 10 as the kids are stepping off the bus. So they'll want to dress for those kind of temperatures stepping out the door this morning to be prepared for that tomorrow morning. We're going to need the shovels ready. We're going to have to be dealing with some snow on our driveways and on our drive. So you'll want to give yourself some extra time. And of course, we'll be right here tomorrow, keeping you up to date on the latest road conditions and talking about when that snow might be ending as well. Coming up uh, Tuesday uh, in your forecast. Until then, bundle up. <laughs> Another shot of winter weather coming our way, though. Yeah. OK, Lisa, thank you. A Fargo man in jail now for DUI driving after revocation and carrying a concealed weapon. It was after a chase on Interstate 29. Troopers tried pulling over a motorcycle driver yesterday afternoon for going 70 in a 55 zone in Fargo, but they say he took off at speeds hitting 120 miles per hour at one point. The highway patrol terminated that chase when the driver then turned into Harwood. Then they found that the driver had crashed in that town and was running from the scene. The trooper caught up with him and arrested this guy, 29 year old Chase board. Thieves are now getting bolder when it comes to car break ins. Some people say they have been targeted in the middle of the day. A social media post has been circulating about these attempted break ins. Experiences range from being targeted at malls and gas stations where strangers try to open car doors even while the driver is still inside. One woman says she was at a Casey's gas station when a man tried to get into her vehicle. Most women carry their purses right on the passenger seat, you know, for easy access to your wallet, your phone. Um, so it's important to make sure that your doors are locked because that's an easy grab right there if they were if your door wasn't locked. The woman says it's a reminder to not leave your car unlocked or running while you are away from it. A main track is now back open after a train derailment in northwestern North Dakota. It happened early Saturday morning near Epping in Williams County. That's about 100 miles west of Minot. Rail crews are still working to reopen the other main line in that area. There are no reports of any injuries, though, or what caused that derailment. 
Well, grab your spare change and get it over to downtown Moorhead this week. We're taking a live look at Affinity Plus Credit Union on 8th Street, one of dozens of branch offices across Minnesota that are currently collecting money for people in need. Coins for a Cause runs during regular business hours today through Friday. Now, money donated goes to support Second Harvest and local food shelves across the state with Affinity matching contributions up to $25,000. A Mapleton mom is in the middle of a long battle with brain cancer. While she's being treated, a community is now surrounding her family with love and support. 39-year-old Ashley Hoppy was diagnosed with brain tumors in August. Now people in Mapleton are stepping up in a big way for the Hoppies by raising more than $30,000 in donations. It's a gesture that means a lot to the family. Ashley says her three kids and her husband John are her biggest motivating factor during this fight. They're the reason why I push, they're the reason why I stay as strong as I can because they're my everything. And without them, I, I wouldn't be the person I am. Ashley will be heading to the Mayo Clinic in February for more treatment. A North Dakota-based organization is now getting some national exposure after this guy right here. San Francisco 49ers offensive lineman Daniel Brunskill wore brave the shave cleats. It was during yesterday's game against the Miami Dolphins. Brunskill chose to help raise money for kids with cancer as part of the NFL's My Cause, My Cleats initiative. Players can pick a cause that's important to them and then represent it on some custom-designed cleats. Brunskill says his choice was an easy one. My family's... Uh, lived in Bismarck. My sisters went to University of Mary. North Dakota's kind of becoming a second home. Uh, and so uh, for the, just to be able to be part of that community and then kind of put shine on a community that doesn't get as much attention, uh, that's, I think, a big thing. Brunskill previously chose Bismarck-based TR for Heart and Soul for the My Cause, My Cleats initiative. The need for volunteer and missionary work in Ukraine is urgent, and for some, it's a personal call. The organization Help Charity Help Ukraine held an event in Bismarck yesterday to raise money for the people in that country. The pastor and two members of the congregation at Charity Lutheran Church are heading to Ukraine next weekend. Proceeds from this event will allow them to buy and bring food and supplies. And our consumer alert this morning, problems with plastic and the credit crush that's hitting so many families. Credit card debt now at an all-time high in a perfect storm of holiday shopping. Massive inflation and soaring interest rates is only set to make it worse. Uh, but there are ways to get out of this hole. Now experts recommend prioritizing 0% balance transfer cards, consolidating your debt and paying off your credit card balance as quickly as possible. Also try setting a deadline to get that done and then try to zero it out in two to four months. Yeah, good advice ahead of holiday shopping. You should also work on the account with the highest interest rate that's costing you the most money at home. And there may still be time for this one. You have to make a plan for your holiday shopping. And the hardest part, folks, is sticking to that budget. Yeah, that is difficult. Have you done any holiday shopping yet? I haven't done a single ounce of holiday shopping. I have also done <laughs> zero of it. I always say every weekend, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and then I don't. <laughs> so it's the thought that counts. Yeah, right? <laughs> You're going to get an IOU this year for Christmas. Be prepared. Anyway, well, thank you for joining us here on today's show. Yeah, absolutely. Take care. Have a safe Monday. We'll see you here next time.